Mm. Now then, Charlie, we're off to Ireland this time. We've got an expression from Middleton Distillery in one of its various guises. Um, obviously, Middleton's a huge distillery in Cork in the Republic of Ireland. This is part of their Method and Madness I, series. I, I, yeah, I've, I've never tasted any Method and Madness, and I've been really looking forward to it. Mm. Um, Middleton Distillery, huge distillery near Cork, mm. where the, the key brands, of course, are Jameson, Powers, and Paddy. Yep, um, Red Breast as well, from Middleton. And then, and then Yellow Spot and Green Spot. Yep, all and, the spots. And Red Breast, all yeah. the spots. Um, pure Pot, Pure Pot mm. still. Now called Single Pot still. Okay, the, and Single uh, Pot still is, remember, it's a combination of is it malted and, and unmalted, unmalted barley. barley. Okay, mm. yeah. So Single Pot still, obviously for many years, Irish whiskies had the reputation of being very light and delicate and smooth. But single the Pot still. The original was much heavier and oilier and, and much more fun. <laughs> much, more yeah. much more characterful, yeah. flavorful. And this like. one, you see why I'm so keen to taste it. This one is, to, to my knowledge, unique in that it's been finished in chestnut, mm. French chestnut casks. Okay. Now that's not allowed in Scotland. Yes. With, yeah. It's not within the definition, it's got to be oak casks. Mm. Um, but it, in, in Ireland, they can make up their own, their own laws. Yeah, um, and although generally speaking, they, they, they follow the Scotch model, but but they but this would be really interesting, and I'm told that the it's also that the main wood is um, is limousin, French mm. limousin oak. Okay. So that's a Quercus Quercus roba. Um, okay. Thank you very much indeed. Strength is where is it? it should be on the front. That's so like forty six percent. So it should mm. have. Bit of a, good. but not too much is going to blow our socks good. off. Um, Method and Madness, as you can imagine, is sort of Middleton's experimental arm. Ah, I see. So I where they sort ask you push it. the boundaries of, you know, what's what's possible. As we say, Scotch is Scotch whiskey is such a tightly yeah. regulated or tightly protected term. There's only so much you can do. Um, recently, that has been sort of relaxed a little bit. You can now use, you know tequila casks are, yeah. are all this sort of nonsense but um yeah obviously in at middleton they've got a bit more freedom to try things out mm. um but yeah this is a whiskey that's been very well reviewed um, it's so interesting the, you know the oak must be part mm. of the the, the, the the profile of scotch only came in in, 18, in, in 1990. okay uh, yep. prior to that it was just wood it must be matured in okay. wood, wooden casks sure. for a minimum period of three years yeah um, and it was only, I mean, they all, um, oak was always the favoured mm. wood. It was always the obvious yeah. choice, anyway, yeah. was it? Because it's, well, it's, it's malleable, you can yeah. you bend it into a cask, it breathes, breathes. It, you know, allows for evaporation. So, yeah, yeah, made sense. It's been, it sense. been the number one, one choice. But, yeah, we're not Imagine. sure how long it's been finished, finished in the chestnut yeah. cask. It doesn't give um, a length of time, but... Yeah, I suppose the best way is just give it a try and see if there's well, anything, the, anything the, new. The, the, different. the master distiller, master blender at Middleton is, I think he's retired now, Barry Crockett. Mm, the, yes, uh, yeah. But a very, very experienced okay. man, and he would have had an eye, I, I bet, on, on, on this. Yep. So the, um, yeah, it all seems, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? A bit of method and madness. So yeah. Let's... Mm. Well, I'm getting sawdust. Mm, yeah, it reminds me of making pencil boxes at school yeah, in the, the woodwork bit, department. A bit of yeah. pencil box. There is a bit of that fruitiness coming through, perhaps, you know, has spent some of the time in sherry cask. A very subtle hint of that. Uh, it's quite a sweet fruitiness. Maybe some raspberry jam, you, perhaps, potentially. There's a sort of savoury note. They, they, they suggest that we might be picking up licorice or licorice laces or something. Mm, yeah, yeah, red licorice laces. I think red licorice they, laces. Yeah. Not, not any colour licorice, yeah. But there is some savoury note. It's not licorice for me. Could it be slightly aniseed? Mm. Fennel? No, it's, it's, it's settling. No, I'm getting something kind of mossy. My trigger for, for Irish whiskey is sort of oiliness. Mm. I can't say I'm getting that here. 
but th now I'm getting this uh, this mossy note. It's very attractive, actually. Mm. Turned earth. Yeah, no, I've been a big fan of um, red breast yeah. single pot yeah, for, yeah, for quite here. a while now, and it's same obviously here. made in the same place. You know, that's mm. often had a stronger sherry influence, and there's there's some overlap here. I'm not sure whether I'd be able to yeah. recognise it. Yeah. It blinds, but I'm I'm picking up similar yeah, no, similar characteristics. Right, let's give taste. it a taste, shall we? Very nice, mm. lovely, smooth mm. texture. And then this this sort of pencil shavings, this sort of woody. That's very. It's, it's a slightly like a spicy woody aftertaste mm. maybe that's the chestnut <laughs> that, might, that might be it but it's, it's got that's a lovely finish to it, isn't it there's mm. no you know particularly those who are new to whiskey they often talk about that that harshness that burn you get after you step for this it's it's just sort of banana aftertaste okay or maybe those foam bananas. Or foam banana sweets you get in the, in the pick and mix. Yeah, pick and mix. So we've gone from red licorice laces to foam bananas. Yeah. I'm definitely getting banana mm. in the aftertaste. A drop of water sweetens it. Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking Sweetie Shop now because that's the firm bananas. Very, very curious. Very, I mean, very yeah. pleasant and very, very interesting. Yeah, I think any whiskey that you know calls itself you know method and madness, you think it's mm. an experiment. They're doing wacky things that haven't been done before. It makes you a little bit nervous. And you think this could this could be a disaster. This might not work at all. But it's. Very pleasant, very well rounded. Um, sweet without being too sweet. Um, their official taking note of red licorice laces kind of concerned me a little bit. Is it going to be very artificial and yeah, you know, not too much. much. But it's, it's it's got a lovely depth to it. Red licorice laces, fresh rosemary and mint, and great grated root ginger on the nose. Mm, you picked up a touch of spice, didn't you, on the nose? Was it ginger? No, I can't see I'm getting this. But that's the thing, you see? Mm -hmm. I mean, that that would have been written, you know, it'll have, they'll have gone back and back and back, and, mm -hmm. and somebody, and probably a panel, yep. and they've picked up that, which is not to say that you and I, mm. you know, would pick it up. It's the, Any tasting note is merely a guide. Yep. You know, yeah. it's, you know the, the viewers here, we're picking up these things now in this place in Edinburgh, mm. and the... Um, but the, um, which is not to say that, that anybody else. Yeah, I always feel, else. I find tasting notes can often put a people off, put a lot of people off because it's, you know, it's intimidating. And I don't pick up foam bananas, whatever. But for me, it's almost, if I suggest a flavour, this is what I'm picking up at this particular yeah. point in time in this place. If yeah. we, you know, if yeah. we come back tomorrow, yeah. it could be completely different. If we let, yeah. you know, bloody Mark on the cameras, let him try it, he'll, he'll pick up yeah. something else. Yeah. It's, you know, it's all very, very subjective. Um, and I think there's, and there's, probably, there's, there's probably only a handful of flavours that you would maybe suggest are, are incorrect. So if I said this yeah. is, you know, peaty and punchy and it's like Lagavulin, you'd maybe entirely, show me the, show me the yeah. door and yeah. find, find another. No, no, no. What exactly? <laughs> no. The, the, uh, um, but there really, there, there, are, there are no pejoratives in tasting notes. And, mm. and it, it is because of the subjective nature of it. Um, the... Um, you know what? I, what you what you smell or taste is yep. is, is 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 right. You know? Yeah, and absolutely. The, uh, even if I don't if I don't pick up on those notes and the uh... yeah, I think it's it's always just a suggestion, isn't it? And often mm. something you suggest might spark something in me, I and mean, then I'll you know it's, mm. it's often nice to try and, and whiskey is such a social thing. I think tasting whiskey with somebody else, you know, you can almost bounce bounce off each other. So it's yeah, but no, this is this is a really. A, a quirky dram or just mm. a, an intriguing whiskey it's got mm, it is. very pleasant very drinkable mm. um yeah are we picking up much chestnut oak or 
I was. It's, I'm not getting the same same now. But the the to, to to start with, I was getting this this curious sort of perfumed wood or sort of scented mm. wood at the back. Okay. The, uh, as I as I swallowed. Mm. Pleasant, isn't very it? Pleasant. A, a very welcome addition to the, yeah, the Middleton stable of, of brands. Yeah. yeah. Well, it'd be interesting to see what other experimental whiskies they come up with, the, mm. this method and madness. Mm. Yeah, no, it's a great concept and, yeah, a great whiskey. Lucky to, mm. lucky to try. Yeah. yeah it's great. Generally available? More, uh, more or less, I think so. I think if you're aware of it coming out and you're on the ball, you can pick one up fairly easily. Mm. Um, mm. But, yeah, no, it's something a bit different and... Yeah, holds its own to any single malt scotch, I mm. would say. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Pure pot still, or single pot still, as they call it now. Mm. Great, thank you yeah. very much for introducing me. You're very welcome. A lovely mm. job. <laughs>